the lightning sessions. I hope you're all ready. I will start with Jan Mas. You have to get ready quick. Just start your camera already, uh, Jan. And uh, you each, each one of you has four minutes, uh, and I'll be, I'll be timing that. And you're standing. That's very good. Uh, at the end of each session, I will ask everyone to turn on the microphone and give a big yes or a small yes if you like or if you not like the what's has been proposed on this lightning talk. So, Jan Mas, you know what to expect after your four minutes. So here you go with uh, your topic, which is new opportunities for student CubeSat teams with the ESA Fly Your Satellite. So take it away. Yeah, can you can you make me presenter that I can share? Yes. Yeah. Give you present a role. That's it. You you're there. Ah, okay. So I'm I'm not using my own slides now. Okay. Oh, as you want. As you want. Uh, you can share your screen. Yes. The yeah, others are warming up. Yes. Let me share my screen. And then we start from here. Perfect. So good afternoon, uh, Le uh, Red. Thanks for the introduction. So um, I'm working as a young credit trainee at the moment for the ESA Academy, and I'm going to share some new opportunities for students that are eager to send their own spacecraft to orbit. Um, before we get to these opportunities, a quick mention uh, on ESA Academy and Flyer Satellite Program. So what the ESA Academy does, it's the branch of ESA Education Office that is targeting university students, and we have a range of uh, hands-on programs, uh, courses, workshops, training weeks to complement uh, the university curricula. Uh, one of those programs is, of course, Flyer Satellite, and we try to transfer expert knowledge to the students uh, experience and best practices to prepare them for their careers. And at the same time, we try to increase the mission success of uh, CubeSats, which we have seen before can be an issue. Uh, how do we do that? We support them through the uh, life cycle of their CubeSat project. Um, we give them expert support, so mostly from Aztec, for example. Uh, we give them opportunities for environmental tests. And finally, if uh, everything is done sufficiently, then we give them a launch opportunity. So here are our new opportunities. We are launching the fourth cycle of LIO satellite. Uh, it's open now for proposals until February 6th. Um, we are going to offer next year a design booster. It is a fixed 1.5 year long um, program uh, for teams who are in an early design stage and for teams that want to test their own self-built hardware, their project, we are going to offer test opportunities one year in duration um, where they can bring the hardware, test it, and learn how the whole test procedure is done. Um, besides that, on an ongoing basis, the training and learning program is always there for uh, additional training courses, such as the CubeSat Hands on Training Week, uh, where we use similar hardware to what we have seen with Avico. Um, so now to Flyer Satellite 4. It has been changed a bit, the scope of the program. We're targeting now this time um, teams that ideally have already consolidated design. Um, you see, we are, we are planning to start in quarter two, 2022, and this should take uh, two to three years in total. Uh, the earliest launch opportunity foreseen is in 2023. Um, and we are having next week and in mid-January, we're having two online information sessions that you can join and I will uh, you will have the link here in the presentation, but I can also join and uh, share them later in the chat. Um, to be eligible, um, has to be a one, two, or three use space for CubeSat, um, and it should meet the uh, requirements of the Flyer Satellite Design Specification version 4. Uh, this uh, FDS can be requested online. Uh, it must come from an ESA member state or associated states university and has a core team of eight eligible students. Um, it has to be have a designated uh, professor, team leader, and systems engineer. University is uh, fully responsible for the CubeSat. It's not going to be an ESA mission in the end. 
So if you would like to join, what do you have to do? Um, please uh, submit your, uh, your proposal, fill in the proposal template, provide endorsement and funding letter from your university, and uh, all the details can be found in the, in the link and the QR code that you see on this slide. So we would like to hear from you. Please join one of the information sessions. Um, for any question, contact me during this event. Contact us via cubesat at isa.int uh, and follow us on social media to stay up to date. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Jan Mas. Thanks a lot, everybody. A big round of applause. So, uh, Yanmas, for this fourth edition of Fly Your Satellite uh, from ISA, I mean, uh, who is here to give me a yes? Turn on your microphone and just shout yes after those three, this countdown of three. Turn on the microphone. Two, one. Yes! 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 yes. 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 So, Excellent. please contact, contact Yanmas if you need uh, any information and especially that uh, link.